Hello, everyone, and welcome to somewhat of a special video here today here on Milk Toast Gaming. Today, I'm joined by one of my favorite streamers at Major Rage TV. Major Rage, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm honored that you asked me to be on Milk Toast Gaming and come talk about this uh, article you found. Yeah, so as you can tell by the title, what what I found is a, a, a CBR... Uh, I think it was top 10 party, uh, party, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Party, like just parties, you know, like the best parties. Um, and yeah, so we just, we're going in blind. We have not seen any of this. We're just going to go in blind and we're just going to look at these party comps and see what we think of them. So let's just get right into it. Okay. So obviously this is the opening splash. So, uh, 10 best final fantasy parties ranked. So I want to do a little bit of prediction before we get down here. So what what do you think? What any what oddball party comp do you think is going to be in this? Like like we can always say Final Fantasy seven nine. Um, you know, do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be utility based or, you know, variety based? Do you think? I think they're probably going to look at how entertaining the parties are, what the dynamics were between the characters. I think that's my how they might look at it, but I could be giving them a lot of credit that they don't deserve. This is CBR. Well, and yeah, as I said, we're going to break it down. If we don't agree with it, we will say why we don't agree with it. But um, I, I, although it's a popular choice, I think that the Final Fantasy IX is definitely going to be in there, as well as I don't know. I think I think they're going to put one in there, a party comp from Final Fantasy One. I. I think they're going to try to stick that in there. They might pop in the party from five just because they have such good chemistry. And yeah. Like make that their oh controversial sleeper one or whatever, since most people let's just hope thirteen's not in there. <laughs> or fifteen. Well, fifteen yeah. See, I, I I always liked fifteen. Like I like fifteen, like the, the dynamic between the characters. It's just the game is just lackluster. All right, let's go into it. So number, okay, number 10. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Final Fantasy V is remembered more by its gameplay than characters. Wow. Uh, okay, so Bart's Galoof, Lena, Ferris, and Krill. So that was all the characters, right? So that's, yeah. So their skills are Warrior of Light, Warrior of Light. So all of them are Warrior of Lights. Bart's. Confident, upbeat, lighthearted, indomitable. Galoof is indomitable, jovial. Lena is altruistic, adventurous, impulsive. So I guess they're doing like breakdowns of this whole thing. So uh, optimistic, hopeful. I, I've been playing through Final Fantasy V. Actually, actually haven't gotten to Krill yet. I know about her, but I've never actually like beaten five. And I'm playing through Fantasia on Twitch. Um, but I have not gotten to the point in five where I got Krill. I've gotten everybody else but Krill. So I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, you're kind of like, it was kind of like the, you know, I don't know, the throwaway party. Yeah, it is because those characterizations of them, those traits they've listed, they're accurate. Uh, I mean, most people do think more about the job system primarily when they think about five instead of thinking about the cast. Uh, it's just, it's that offbeat Final Fantasy. It's a comedy first and a tragedy second, as opposed to being a tragic or serious story with comedic elements interspersed throughout. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, from what I've played of it so far, it is definitely, it is definitely a, uh, definitely a different type of final fantasy which is to its credit because that's what i like i like different in my final fantasy all right you ready for the next one sure all right final fantasy 8 has the brooding protagonist and the forgettable party wow i thought this was supposed to be the Gosh. best or is it forgettable because they all forgot that they were like growing up together should say forgetful party yes so uh, apparently this is not a like party comp as in like you know if there's three characters like an eight where there's three characters in there they're just talking about the entire ensemble the cast the so if we, if six is in here this is going to be like three rows long <laughs> this thing down here 
Six will probably be at like number three. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Squall is brooding, silent, and distant. Yeah, no crap. Uh, Renault is friendly, compassionate, and naive. And weird, in my opinion. Uh, Zell is eccentric, confident, outgoing. Eh. Selfies, upbeat, and childish. Definitely. Uh, Quist Quistus is pro. What is pro prodigious? Prodigious. That's a word I'm not. I've never heard. Pro pro means skilled. Let me. Uh, and composed. And then Irvine is flirtatious and playful. So I don't know. I mean, while you look that up, I, you know, eight, eight's just one of those games that again, it, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's destroyed by a very paper thin, not paper thin story, but like just a, a bad story. In my opinion, I know there's people out there that love it. And if you love it, I'm very happy for you. You know, like I, I, I'm very happy that you love Final Final Fantasy VIII, but for me, I just the story gets bad, and story I gets just, really bad for me too. Yeah, fun gameplay there though, easy to break it. That's no different. Okay. Ah. Okay, I broke it again. Nice going. I brought up breaking things, and you broke the stream yard. Yeah. Right. Okay, Did you so look prodigious means, according to Oxford Languages Dictionary, remarkably or impressively great in extent, size, or degree. What? what how does that represent Quistus? Like, I, I, I would use that doesn't. to describe Tifa in certain aspects, but I mean... <laughs> but, uh, you know, okay. She's, I mean, if they're using it in terms of skilled, she is a, a young prodigy type. She's a teacher, even though she's barely any older than them. Oh, well, yeah, she's 19. And, like, Squall's 17? 18? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, ready for the next one? Student. Hmm? I said she's the inverse of Van Halen's song. She's hot for student. Yeah, right. Next one is... Oh, sorry, I missed it. Uh, Final 13. Fantasy 13. It has been cast has a cast overshadowed by one character. What do they mean by that? Is it Vanille? Because we all know Vanille's annoying. I believe they mean that everybody forgets about the rest because lightning's so front and center. Yeah, I right. Mean, even the, the second sequel's lightning returns. It's like, oh, crap. People hate this without lightning in it. Better get her back. Who is Yoon? <laughs> I don't even remember. Wait, what What are these names? Lightning, Snow, Die, Zaz, Hope, Yoon. So I'm guessing Yoon is Fang? And Yoon Die is probably is Fang. And Vanille? Daya what? is Vanille. But why? what's with the different names? Were they different in Japan? Yeah, Commando That's... Sentinel Saboteur was would be her, and then Ravager Saboteur Medic is is Vanille. That's so weird. I'm not going all. I I think I okay. Do I, I think this party is better than eights, but I don't really feel like I, I don't. This is another one I don't feel like deserves to be on this list. No, it delete it. Oh, Yoon Fang is part of her name. Oruba Yoon Fang is Fang's full name. Oh, so I'm guessing Dia is a part of uh, Vanille's name. Oruba Dia Vanille. Okay. <laughs> Had to look it up. I mean, th they it doesn't belong in the top ten at all. Well, and party. even the title, like the titles, like Final Fantasy 13 has a cast overshadowed by one character. That doesn't sound good you know what i mean like all right ready for the next one yeah. unless uh, okay final fantasy 16 a, a recently introduced title with a strong cast i i agree with this except for where, where's everybody else like clive sid jill torgel what about joshua what about gav what about right. dion what about like, I get they're not party members, but they're with you enough that you're like, 
they should be a part of the party too, technically. Yeah, they're. I mean, especially Joshua, like he's throughout the whole game. He's he's honestly one of the cornerstones of the whole game. He is. He's he's Clive's narrative foil, too. You've got to list him. Maybe they wanted because it's so new with you know just been out in the past year or so. They didn't want to spoil the fact that he does. That Joshua is in the game more than the demo would lead you to believe. I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, I guess we can make that excuse for them. I don't know. That's that's another weekend. Like if they would have included everybody, but oh, here we go. Uh, I guess if they would have included everybody, then I guess it would have been, you know, I think it would have been stronger. But that I mean, it's a good party. All right. Fifteen. A small group with large bonds. So that's what we're calling them these days. You what? Nothing. I mean, like, I, I like the dynamic between these four characters, but, you know, I don't know. This this one just seems, again, it's it, 15 was just a mess. It has its redeeming values, but not enough to outweigh the bad. Anything else about 15? I've played it so little, I feel like I'd be talking out my ass. I okay. do, I... I like uh, Ignis, the the glasses guy. Yeah. He's the one I actually like of the four. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy X, characters have the joys and heartbreaks in abundance. This one so. needs to be up higher. I, I agree. Um, Ten's not one of my favorites, but I agree that the party dynamic is pretty good. The only one that, that I don't know, the only one that really doesn't fit in ever for me is Riku. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I don't know why she just never fits in the party comp for me. So yeah, she seems of all the other characters, everybody else is for the most part, so serious and Riku doesn't have a serious bone in her body. Yeah. Well, and the problem with the problem with, with Riku is that she comes pretty, not late in the game, but like, so you, as Titus, you, you know, you, spoiler alert for 10 if you, you know you he goes back and or he goes forward in time right forward yeah he goes forward in time and then he um and then he you know he meets waka lulu kamari yuna like really soon and then two no. places later you get Aran, and then i think it's like another two places after that you finally get riku and it's like at that point, it's it's almost like not that the part because I mean in seven you got Sid way late, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But still, it's just like Riku. Just I don't know. She just doesn't fit she for never me. Feels like a part of the group. Whereas and then the they shoehorn in members... that. Yeah, and then they shoehorn in that Riku's or that Riku and Yuna are cousins, right? Yeah, that that you know making Yuna part Albed, you know making Waka have to you know, confront his racism and bigotry. Which, I mean, we all love a good racist in a Final Fantasy, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> ah, Waka. How, boy, how he would be canceled if he was around today. Well, so would Sid. Sid would be absolutely canceled in his original form. Yeah, I get why. Well, that's a conversation for another day. That's true. All right, next up. Uh, number four, Final Fantasy 14 has a cast that is continuously in development. Okay, I can see this one. I don't think it should be this high on the list. Holy crap, there's a lot of people. Um, you know, I know a lot of these characters from me playing 14. Um, obviously, Alphanod, Al Alise, Thancred, Ura Granger, Ustola. Who is G Garaha? I don't know that one. Maybe that's a newer character that I... I've only played up through. Uh, I, I'm about halfway through End, Endwalker because not Endwalker, Shadowbringer, just because Shadowbringer is so bad for me. Like everybody loves it, I cannot play it. So, I do like their their party comp though. Um, the Scholar Sage, Red Mage, Gunbreaker, Astrologian, Conjurer, and then all around. I don't even know who this person is, but sure. Are there pictures? No? Okay. But 
Uh, have you played a? Had you played a bunch of fourteen or no? No, no, okay. I couldn't get into the combat. I'm used to World of Warcraft, and it's gotcha. so slow until you get higher level and unlock the abilities that aren't on global cooldown. That that long global cooldown just kills me. I'm so twitchy. I'll... I gotta go. No, oh. well, I I gotta gotta do arenas and hit space button constantly and jump around waiting for the gates to open. I'll tell you what, though. I mean, Final Fantasy fourteen is is a good Final Fantasy story. You know what I mean? Like it, it's good. I like it. Um, and these characters are good, like Alpha Nod, Elise, Thangrid, Eric Granger, Yastola, um, uh, Yada. Alpha Nod's one of the little guys, right? No, the... Alpha no. Nod is, it, it's like a, I mean, they're like an elf, but they're not tall. You know, normally the elves are tall, like the elvens, mm -hmm. but they're, they're like, I think they're, I think they're mixed race between elven and Hume because they're not tall, but they have like the pointed ears and everything. Okay, but it's not a Lollafell. No, it's not. No, it's no. not a Taru. I call them by their 11 names because I can never remember the names of 14. A Taru Taru. Okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, that's okay. I think it should have been lower on the list, honestly, but still. All right, number three. Final Fantasy VII has Mercs and with Baggage and Drive. So yeah, so Cloud, Tifa, Barrett, Aerith, Vincent, Yuffie, Kate, Sith, Red 13, and Sid. So, I mean, we kind of knew this party was going to be on the list, you know. And we knew they were going to be high up just because of how loved 7 is. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much we can say about this party comp. I mean, besides... Well, it hasn't been said, you know. They're great together. They're also, like, it, they're also all basically like red mages you know like you, you just depends yeah. on what material you equip on them i mean i do like how in, in remake and rebirth they've kind of changed it up a little bit so that you know barrett and Aerith and yuffie all kind of feel like you know they're they're good at ranged and then cloud tifa and uh and kate sith and uh, red 13 they're all like those melee characters that get in there that's why i always love when i make my party comps and rebirth and remake i always try to have a mixture of ranged and you know close close range Ready and then all you usually situation. always have cloud so and he's actually a good blend he actually has some decent ranged abilities that help him out a lot yeah especially if you invest into those elemental attacks mm -hmm. all right number two final six, fantasy six. six i told you they'd be on here oh yeah it's many a <laughs> Is an old title with many amazing stories. All right, let's see how long this thing is. Look at that. <laughs> I okay, so this is the one that I'm gonna have probably the most umbrage with, only because I th th there's too many characters. You know what I mean? Like nobody gets any development. There's so many of them. They have one tiny arc each. Yeah, like maybe. I mean. Strago, I would say, doesn't have any development. Realm definitely doesn't have any development. Umaru? Mog, Mog really Mog, doesn't. No. Yeah, Umaru. I mean, Umaru's just... There, he's a Yeti. He's optional. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say CN probably has a good amount. Of, and I would I would say Setzer doesn't have a ton of, of character. But that's why I'm like, this party comp, I knew it was coming up some sometime. But I'm like, still, like, number two... The only reason why this is so high is because there's so many characters. That doesn't Probably. quantity does not in, make quality. That's what the voters at Debate Mania Two said. They agreed with me when I said that to Block. That's right. Um, I think Celes and Sabin have pretty good story arcs. Um, Edgar, I think he has an okay story arc, but nothing crazy. You know what I mean? I think he's still mm. kind of the same at the end of the game as he was at the beginning, almost. Yeah, but it, the but the actual Edgar is a lot deeper than the caricature that Edgar has to put on the face he puts on for Kefka and the Empire, and that so finding the real Edgar, I guess, is the development there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah, and I mean Shadow. It had, could have been interesting, but I think they just didn't do anything with him. Gao... They gated a... his...
character development behind scenes and ends that you don't necessarily have to see. A ton of the character's character development happens in World of Ruin, and you can complete the game without getting them back. So you don't even have to see it. Most of the good development is in optional content. Yep. And Go Go, I mean, really, Go Go, like, I, you didn't have anything. Tra no traits. They copycat mime. That's the job abilities. There's no personality there. Yeah, I was about to say he's basically a walking materia in Final, like, <laughs> you know, from Final Fantasy VII. Even though he came before, but still. All right. So which one? Which one are we thinking is number one? I know. Nine. I think the only one left that's got a great party is going to be. There we go. Yep. Final mm -hmm. Fantasy IX's cast is a motley crew that meshes surprisingly well. You know, and I swear to you, when family. I when I picked this out, like when I saw this article, I did not look at it. I did not know that nine was number one. But yeah, Zidane, Garnet, Vivi, Alberta, Al Al Aldebert, Aldebert Steiner, Freya, Amarant, Quinna, Ico. So I, I I agree with I mean, you know, you can you can argue for like seven as being number one or in my opinion. Wait a minute. Where's four? Four is not even on this list, and I would argue that needs to be on this list. You know, I think it needs to be on this list. It's the once again, they only had room for one game with a ridiculous cast, and four's cast is almost as big as six is, but you don't have to choose between who you're using. Yeah, Maybe. like, I mean... Like, how would they... What party would they list? Because so many of the characters never interact with each other. You would have to list just the final five. The core party of the end of the game. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's kind of sad that, that they didn't include... That they didn't... So, Five's on there, but not not four. Yeah, five is on there, not four. 12's not on there. 12 has got a decent cast. I like, yes, I get it. Vaughn is a little annoying, but I think Pinello's okay. Freya and ba uh, Freya and Balthier are great. Ash, I think, is good. And Bosch is pretty good. I can't say that he's like awesome, but like I, I feel like 12 had a should have been on this list before some of these other some of these other ones. I think they chose games more based on the popularity of the title, and this isn't really about the party. I mean, if you got 13 on there before before 12, yeah, you, you've definitely got it. Because they didn't put 11 on here. Obviously, 1 and 3, probably not, because they're pretty generic. Here. It just depended on whether you were looking at you know utility or characters, and it seems like they're going for more just parties as a whole. So, and, you know, and characters. So, obviously, one and three are out. They didn't put two on here, which two I could see not being on here. There's not, how would you list the char the traits for, you know, people? They don't really have. I, I would argue, I don't know. I mean, if you add all the, sub, like, the, the, the in and out characters, like Minwoo and Joseph and, um, oh, what's the, what's the, the purple pirate gypsy's name? um layla layla you like I, if you add all those people uh richard you know like i don't know if they richard have had... care they have personality sure but uh maria Firion, and guys got probably the most personality out of any of them well but you spend the most time with them so yeah so yeah i mean i, I don't know i but i but i'm just saying like i'd put twos cast on here before fives as well i would think so I would definitely put it on. I I would definitely take if I were to remove any of them. I would definitely remove. I I would probably remove. Uh, I'd probably remove sixteen because although the characters are good, the ones they they kind of shortchanged it a little bit. Uh, yeah. I definitely remove thirteen. That's just not and and eight. I'm sorry, eight is not a good cast. Like they're very forgettable. In my opinion. Sorry. I don't know. Any other any other thoughts on any of this, Mage, besides in insane rage over the fact that 4 is not even on here? I knew something about this was going to make me rage. It's CBR. 
Yeah. I but I I 100 agree with you. Four should have been on here before half of these probably. I, I definitely agree yeah. with you there. Six is only up there because it's so popular. Yeah, and that's the thing. As I said, quality does not mean quantity. And honestly, six's cast is just it's just big. You know what I mean? Like that's it. And for some shallow folk, that's all that matters is size. So I mean. Anyway, any other final thoughts before we head out? No, I've got nothing. I wish I had something eloquent or poignant to say, but no, just angry mage noises. Angry mage noises. All right. Well, anyway, so this was just a special, like I messaged mage earlier today and said, hey, do you want to do this video with me? And he said, absolutely. And I said, awesome. Uh, so, I mean, you know, definitely, uh, if, if you're watching this, definitely go over to Major Rage TV on YouTube and Twitch and check him out. Uh, he just hit affiliate over on Twitch. And so we got to help him keep growing, uh, on YouTube. He's, you know, trying to crawl up that subscription ladder, which good Lord, we all know that's a tough rung by rung. Um, anything else you want to add about your channel, Mage? Um, do lots of Final Fantasy over there doing early pixel remasters right now. Uh, gonna have I've got one fully uploaded Wild Arms full VOD, Star Ocean Second Story R full VOD. So a little bit of new with remakes, but everything's kind of got a retro vibe to it. If that's up your alley, please check me out. Uh, any and all supports appreciated. Yeah, link will be below. But with all that being said, Mage, thank you for joining me here, everybody. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share it out to your friends, and consider subscribing to Milk Toast Gaming. And, uh, yeah, and just leave a comment. What do you think of this list? Are we, are we right? Should there have been a, should four have been on there? Should, uh, I don't know. Some other ones been on there. Was your favorite one on here? Where was it on the list? Let us know below. And with that, we will catch you guys in the next one. Catch you later.